Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Orion 70mm Solar Scope. It's a small refractor, and you can probably guess from the name what it's designed for. Uh, this is for looking at the sun, at the, at the surface of the sun, because it's got a built-in solar filter. Now, a lot of telescopes you can add on a filter uh, by attaching a, a white light filter, but this one's built in. And that's, it's a safer way to do it, because this thing is not going to come off. Nobody's going to go up to the top and say, hey, what's this screw, and, and take the thing off, or maybe it's not the right fit. Um, it's an achromatic lens, 70 millimeters, uh, 500 millimeter focal length, f7.1, and the solar filter is permanently attached onto the front. So this makes it great for public events. If you're at a star party, uh, well, a daytime star party, let's say there's an eclipse coming up, or uh, at a school when you're uh, showing all the, the, the kids and the teachers the sun, uh, you can be assured that you're going to get a very safe uh, view of the white light features of the sun. For attaching the telescope to a tripod, you've got this uh, uh, narrow uh, dovetail uh, adapter on the bottom, and this is the Vixen style. So any mount that's capable of attaching a Vixen rail uh, will work with this. Also, in the middle of the Vixen uh, dovetail bar are two standard quarter 20 threads, or uh, threaded holes. So any photo tripod uh, for a camera, for a spotting scope, uh, will attach here. So you can attach the, the telescope this way or mount its side onto the um, equatorial mount or uh, altazimuth mount that uses a Vixen rail. All right, I just wanted to show the telescope attached to a mount. This is our solar tracking mount and it uses the Vixen rail. So it just slides in, clamps down, and you're good to go. So this is a white light filter version of a, uh, a solar filter. So that's designed to see uh, sunspots, the granulation around the sunspots, and then anytime there's a uh, solar eclipse, it's a great view. Uh, but you don't have to wait for a, a, an eclipse to see this. At any time of the year, there's uh, any number of sunspots traversing the, the sur surface of the sun, and this will allow you to see them. Uh, sunspots take about two weeks to go from one side to the other. So it's great to go out day to day and see the evolution of the spot as it travels across the surface. Uh, the scope comes with a couple of accessories. You get a 90 degree diagonal and then two eyepieces, a uh, 20 millimeter and a 10 millimeter eyepiece. So you've got a low power and a little bit higher magnification. You can always attach different eyepieces onto it. So maybe adding a Barlow lens or some higher magnification. Uh, the scope itself can comfortably do a little bit over 100 power, maybe 120, 130 power. Uh, though you got to watch out during the day when you're looking at, a, at the sun, the atmosphere is not very calm. So higher power is usually a little bit harder to do because of the distortions in the atmosphere. Uh, like if you were out on a parking lot, the sun's been cooking the asphalt and, and you get this heat waves coming up. So the best way to view the sun with a, with a solar scope is uh, over a grassy area, maybe near a, a body of water, uh, anywhere where the atmosphere will be more stable. All right, well, there you have it. This is the Orion 70 millimeter solar telescope. Thank you very much. Clear skies.